The stork enamine synthesis is a variation on the Michael addition reaction. It allows us to use a regular aldehyde or ketone instead of restricting us to that list of appropriate nucleophiles, Michael donors. In this reaction, the first step is to convert the aldehyde or ketone into an enamine, and enamine works really well as a nucleophile in the Michael addition reaction. And once you have the enamine, then you go right ahead and do the 1,4 addition reaction to the conjugated system. The enamine is added to the first carbon of the conjugated system, so it places it right here. The H3O plus reagent finishes up the Michael addition reaction. It also serves to convert the enamine back into the regular aldehyde or ketone. I do wanna add that I'm showing a really simple ketone here as a reagent. The ketone, whatever ketone you're using, is going to bond to the carbon of the conjugated system using one of its alpha carbons. So if we had a, a bigger ketone, like say we just had one more carbon on there, I could stick that one more carbon over here just like that to show you that the point of attachment is gonna be the alpha carbon. Let's take a look at the mechanism for this reaction. I'm gonna use uh, a pretty good sized ketone for our example. We'll use two pentanone. Um, and in the first, like in the first step, we're gonna use a secondary amine. And it, honestly, it doesn't matter what amine you use for this reaction because you're just gonna be getting rid of it by the end of the reaction anyways. So I'm just gonna use this dimethyl amine. And I'm not gonna show the synthesis of the enamine because we've looked at that reaction many times. Um, remember that the double bond does rearrange itself in the synthesis of the enamine. Now for, to get this molecule ready for the conjugate addition, the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen are kind of come down and make carbon nitrogen double bond and move the electrons from the carbon carbon double bond on to the alpha carbon um, so that we are going to have basically an enolate. Let's draw a picture of what that looks like. And there's our negatively charged carbon. And then once we get that, we're able to go ahead and add it to our conjugated system. So for the conjugated system, I'm going to choose to use an aldehyde, five, uh, four carbon aldehyde. This is going to attack at the first carbon of the conjugated system and we're going to move the carbon carbon double bond and we're also going to move the carbon oxygen double bond and here's where we've got to be really careful about like drawing these molecules together we want to make sure that we don't lose any carbons we don't add any extra carbons probably would be smart for us to like put some numbers here one two three four five when i number carbons for these types of reactions i like to give every single carbon its own number i don't repeat the numbers um, and i also like to start by drawing the molecule that is getting attacked so i'm going to draw carbon six seven eight and nine first six um, remember that the double bond between seven and eight has moved between eight and nine, and the carbon oxygen bond is now a single bond with a negative charge on the oxygen. And then we have made a bond, let me get my numbers on here, six, seven, eight, and nine. We've made a bond between carbon number three and carbon number seven. So there is carbon number three. Carbon number three has carbons one and two attached. So we'll draw those guys in to one, and then also carbon number four, and carbon number five. And carbon number four is the one that has the double bond to the nitrogen with the positive formal charge. This is a pretty bulky molecule, but using this technique makes sure that I haven't left anything out, haven't forgot anything. The next step of the reaction is to add H3O plus. The H3O plus is going to do two things. First, it is going to protonate our oxygen. So we're going to have an OH instead. And second, it's going to convert the enamine back into a ketone. And I'm going to do both of those things all at once without showing any of the curved arrows for that, just to kind of save time. You guys know how to protonate an oxygen, and we have seen all about enamines and ketones. And let me add my numbers on here just so that we can make sure that I haven't lost any carbons. Like that. So there's um, our next product. This is an enol uh, right here. And as you know, it is just going to tautomerize itself 
to make an aldehyde. Six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, hydrogen, three, two, I'm running out of room. Now I need to put my numbers on here. Six, seven, eight, nine, three, two, one, four, five, double bond oxygen. And there's probably a prettier way to draw that molecule, but I don't really care about the way that it looks. I know that it is correct.